Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Fix my mic. There we go. Welcome back to another episode. We are back again um, playing some Destiny 2. If you're not caught up, uh, I've posted three videos so far. I'm going to be working. Is it three? One, two, yeah. I'm going to be, uh, I posted three videos where I uh, kind of showed where almost 100% of the regional chests are um, on the moon, EDZ, and Cosmodrone. Um, I had a live stream on August 28th where I had to find all of the regional chests on Throne World, so you can go back and watch it there as well. Um, I'm going to try to re-upload that purely just as a, uh, we'll see. It's a, it, it's a trade, but the video's up there, um, and then technically there, the one for the EDZ, there was three I had left over for Europa, because I had other ones for Europa, my of those two. Um, but we still have Nessus and Dream City to do, um, so if you haven't watched those three videos, go back and watch, watch them, or if you're just needing help finding the regional chest, they are very, very simple to, to find. Um, so we're going to keep doing... Keep doing that as it is, and I think today we are gonna hop into Nessus and do the regional chest here. Um, and I'll break down, you know, what they look like, how to tell how many. Very simple stuff that you can honestly always just Google if you want to find the exact location. I do not know where where these exactly are. I just know the vicinity based upon the marker, which I'll explain once we're at that point but without further ado thank you for watching cybermark sig my name is sig i hope that you all are enjoying yourself and having a great day uh, thank you for tuning in and watching this taking the time out of your busy day to choose to watch this as well make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do like this type of content and if you enjoyed the how-to tips tricks those type things leave a comment down below and um, if you have a question on hey how do you, how do you do this how do you do that let me know if I don't know how to do it. I have members in my Discord community of Nexus Media for Gamers where one of us always seems to know how to do it or the workaround for it. So, and you're welcome to join the Discord as well. Again, my name is Sig. Go check out the, site, the social media to the left of me. There's always a bunch of content over there that's non-gaming related for the most part. I um, mean, you won't see clips of my streams or games over there. It's just purely uh, me, myself, and I basically. So, and then we have our lovely sponsors list up above. All the links are listed down in the description below, along with their appropriate promotion codes. Uh, Shellshock is the only one that it's 10% on top of the promotional pricing. So, something's already 15% off or 20% off, you get additional 10 on top of that. I talked enough. Let's get into this. I hope you enjoyed today's stream or er, today's video. The next time you'll be seeing this ugly mug, we'll be at the end doing a recap of what we've gone. So sit back, relax, enjoy the sweet tunes provided by Stream Beats, and we're playing the rock playlist. So if you're interested, go to streambeats.com. Enough said, pitter patter, let's scatter y'all. Yeah, let's get your music going. All right, so this is, of course, is your destination map on Destiny 2. Very simple. Everyone should know what this looks like, know how to get to it. Um, whether you're on PC or console, doesn't matter. It all looks the same. Um, so regional chess, let's get into that. All right. So we're, again, we're going to go to Nessus is our destination. Every regional chest in each planet all across the galaxy, no matter what, will have the exact same symbol and exact same color. So it's very easy to uh, understand what's going on, I, I promise. Okay, so you see this little symbol right here, the circle with what looks like, um, it looks like a ghost, honestly, um, like Destiny 2 ghost. This means that's a regional chest. As you can tell, I have several of them all throughout Nessus because I don't think I collected any of them. And if I did, didn't collect too many. Anyways, this is a regional chest. That's regional, 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 regional. 
they will always be a metallic yellow. This regional chest cannot be discovered by your ghost. And what I mean by that is if you go to your ghost and you go to the modifications on it, there is a mod spot for tracking where you can find uh, caches within 75 meters or you know 50, 40, 30, 20, depending upon which one you go or if you choose one of these two. I have a 75 meter one. This just lets me know where all the other cache loots are, where all the other chests are, but this will not, again, will not tell you where the regional chests are at. I don't care how many other um, content creators or Destiny 2 players state that, oh, it will tell you, it does not. I'll prove it in this video like I've been proving the other three. And it's getting very tedious because I've made a comment about this in one video and just have not heard the fucking end of it so we're gonna get into it i just gotta change everything so where we know this is in fact a different video so and you'll understand what i mean by that just by looking at my character i change the character if the killer's character is the same that either means it is same day different recording or same recording all right and if you want to see how many regional chests you have you go to your planet so we'll go to Nessus, go to the world, go to exploration, and there should be a regional chest there. All right, so I have already found four of the 21. So I'm going to be able to only show you 17 regional chests, okay? Again, I apologize for that. Um, I don't actively go out to look for these. If I stumble upon them, got it. Uh, so if you've never noticed your triumphs these are really just like mile markers milestones uh trophies whatever you want to call them but some of them do give you special items so so like i have two lost sectors that need to um one splint of mine let's see if i can find one that gives you something we'll go throne world so right here so this is just a side note this one will give you that uh, emblem that you see if you complete this triumph which is completing the witch queen on legendary all the missions on legendary so as you can tell i've completed all but three because the cunning is such a bitch oh it was hard it nuked me every time but some of them like this one complete wellspring on master difficulty i haven't done that yet clearly but i could get myself a ship uh, Vow disciple i could get a sparrow Another emblem, a cool coloring, another cool coloring. So some of them, a ghost, will give you additional content for or in-game content. Some of them just won't give you anything. What's this? A ghost. Okay, cool. That's a lore and lore. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get on to Nessus and find us. I am going to try to do the circuit that makes sense uh, gonna try so let's get into it All right, so here we are, and it looks like we need to go up, left, and then just kind of hug the curb. It's going to be on the right-hand side. Again, these are, you're going to hear me say they're easy to find, and I don't mean, like, I don't mean that by its true definition, if that makes sense. I mean, when you, 
when you start understanding like how Bungie hides these things, you're like, oh yeah, it's it's easy. It makes sense. Um, and that is they tend to hide them in like caves. They tend to hide them in uh, places that are, are just kind of obscene a bit. And you have to go out of your way a little bit. But caves up in structures, like on the very top. Should be near it. Oh, bam. I'm gonna try my best to like show you how to get there, but no promises really. Cause I, I don't know where these exactly are, so I am really guessing. Well, you're gonna see this map get pulled up a lot. Okay, so if it's not up here, because this this would make sense for Bungie to hide it up here. That is in fact the wall. So, like anything that's kind of like hard to reach, that's basically where you need to look. Not there. Hmm. Oh, I have definitely passed it, so... The next thing we'd want to do is see if there's an opening down here. Because caves are honestly probably where I find most of them. Like this would also be a place where there may be one. Why? Because it's not thought of. Honestly, I don't know how high up I can go. Oh, almost died. Well, Nessus, where are you hiding this one? Even near it anymore. All right. Really wish you could zoom in on the map. Only thought it is it has to be up here. Yep. So it has to be right here somewhere.
And again, if you want to find the exact location without searching, you can always Google and there's someone that's taking a picture of it. I have not done that. And I honestly don't suspect I will. All right, so there has to be a cave or something that lets me go right back here. Ah, oh, there it is. Regional chest. Yellow. Always will be yellow. Well, that took a lot longer than I want to admit, so we're not going to admit it. Go. Alright, so that treasure symbol you see right there, that just means there's a chest there. It is not a regional chest. Or else I would not have searched so damn hard for that other regional. I'm not near it still. We are right above it. So this is a place where it... I'll finish my thought in a second. Where'd you go? Alright, so this is an area where it could literally be below us. Or it could be in the trees. I'm going to go check the trees first because that just sounds more like a bungee move. Again, I've never found one in a lost sector and I would go on the record as saying they will never be in a lost sector. There you go. Just as I thought. The regional chest is up in the tree. Then we need to go that way. Re uh, lost sector is right there. Which means regional chest is probably over here somewhere. Again, you did not see the treasure symbol pop up at all. That data latest lattice is uh, your mat. Here we buy this. Yep, go straight. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's going to be much of an area for this to be hidden. So it's probably going to be in... Unless there's a cave, I don't see yet. It's probably going to be up on a shelf, if possible. Up on one of these platforms, or in something like that. It's showing it should be here. There it is. They are going to be in plain sight, but we're talking like obliviously plain sight. And some of them you're going to be like, ah, shit. Oh, what is this? I have something to investigate. I'm very much the gamer that plays the story first, and then do all the other stuff. And if it's any further past where I am, it's going to be in the tree, or there's going to be a ch uh, cave.
Sorry, I'm starting to see things I've never seen. So we're just gonna investigate them. This complex is specifically attuned to exo programming. But why would the Vex have okay. access to see. Oh, it must be Cade. See, it's very this is like this is what I'm talking about. Very freaking obvious, very out in the open. The only thing is you have to jump down and slowly walk down. Because most people are going to jump from way up there and jump across or jump there and jump down. So you're going to miss this because you're not paying attention. Now Luke. I'm going to make each planet basically its own video. So where if you need to find just Nessus or just um, Europa, not Europa, I can't show you Europa, I already found all of them, but just Nessus or just EDZ or anything like that, then you should be able to find the majority of them. Again, can't show you all of them because if I stumble upon them naturally, then I collect them. Alright, so I want to show you something. So you see how this one is not really like in the map's lines, it's kind of off. It's going to be because there is a path that you can go in. So you just gotta find it. Is that the one? Nope. Still need to go forward. This is like basically off the map, if that makes sense. But it's probably gonna be up here or down on below on one of these ledges. But it's always gonna be somewhere you can get it. It's never just gonna be uh, like you have to kill your character. Okay, so that's a little too far from them. Okay. Alright. Let's so I've definitely gotten away from and there's a good chance it's not even in here. There's probably a cave or something. But... You know what I'm talking about? Freaking oblivious. I jumped from all the way over there to there, floated my warlock's ass over here, landed here, and literally, watch it back, I do this. Right there. Right there. Ah. Lovely moments. <laughs> and this one should be straight ahead. Again. Near it, I'm right on it. Kind of like my arc turret do its thing. Nice, so I'm right by it. Yeah, weird feeling. Uh, oh, 
get a weird feeling it's gonna be over here. Wow, really? It's definitely a place I would put it. We are by it. We are, like, right on it. Again, it's probably going to be in a very, very obvious freaking place. Let's check this pillar. it is. Just kind of a reference. There is the center of the circle. And there is that big ass exhaust or light, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so that's all three there. So now we're going to go to Artifact's Edge. And then we're going to shoot through the hollows. And shoot on down to Glade of, Echo. Glade of Echoes. So there is one directly over here. Dead. And let me get out of this firefight. Probably not in the tree, as you saw, you can float through it, so. Let's see if there's a cave. I know, I'm getting too far away from it now. this wall. Well, let's do... Let's do this one over here. Yep, there it is. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a glow. Yep. Go figure. And regional chests, uh, I think I say this at the top if I didn't, I apologize. Regional chests only give you regional items. So you're not gonna find like Throne World or Witch Queen loot here. That's not part of this region. Hence its name Regional Chest. Yeah, 
is where I said one was at. I am just a tad too far away. There it is. That probably means there's one down there. So before we jump down the hole of abyss. I want to make sure. Looks like we're gonna have to go down anyways. Now here's a real thing, real tricky part. So you see how this is a spiral staircase? You're gonna want to take it a bit slower and kind of look around. There's a good chance they're gonna hide it up here since so many people just jump. All the way down. Not regional. God damn it. Like I said, so many people just jump down. my time with this loot but there we are holy crap I overshot it Very good hide. I'm sorry, did say there's one over here? Is it pays a lemons? And we're just gonna go here. And once we find the last one, that will conclude the video. Make sure we have four more, right? One behind me. Cave. I think I know where the cave is too. Alright. I'm trying not to go into a lost sector because I, again, they're not in lost sectors. I 
to keep going towards it. Please be. Oh, thank God. Okay. And I think this is where I want to go. Here I want to go to the left. Let's go find these last three. Just gotta make sure there's none in this little area. All right, and go hug the left wall. Once we get out. In a way, some of these are a lot more obvious than the rest of them. chest there. Should be right on top of it. on the bottom, you might as well check out the bottom. Or you move all the way up. Or I don't like lesson too, you know. unlock the triumph too, even though my social blocks it. There you go. We're just gonna double check because the EDZ had one pop up. There was only 20. And you can go watch the video and you'll notice at the very end I look back and there's a 21st one. Alright. Let's go claim the triumph. I don't remember if you get something if you complete like all of it. Don't quote me on that. I always forget. Alright, let's get back to orbit. Let's call it an episode.
Alright. There we go, everyone. We found all 21 of the regional chests inside of Nessus. Again, I only had 17 to find, therefore the other four, uh, either just Google it or uh, look for them yourself. They're not hard. Some of them are a little bit more tedious than others, but they're always in an easy, accessible place. So, we're going to call it a day. Thank you so much for tuning in this episode. If this video did help you out in any way, make sure to comment down below if you'd like to see other tips and tricks or how-tos or tutorials of any types for any games, let me know. Uh, this is more of a, what I'm calling a casual style tutorial, meaning it's not really crucial to the game, but I'm a very casual player and I don't go out of the way to find this stuff. Uh, unless there's a quest for it, which is the only reason why I go look for them. The next episode, though, will be Dreaming City, and this one is probably going to take us quite some time, even though there are, I think, only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's only seven. Uh, the problem is they are like, this is the main map. But then there's all these tunnels and caves and areas that you can go to, so it's, it is tedious as hell. And... This is the only spawn point. So for me to do any of this, I basically have to work my way in a circle properly, which we will. So we'll go right to left. So with that said, tune in to the next episode to find out where all the regional chests of Dreaming City are. And if you haven't already, go check out the August 28th live stream with the regional chest for Throne World. All of them are found in that one. Um, well, all but one. Maybe all of them? I think all of them, honestly. Uh, episode 1 is the EDZ. Episode 2 is the Moon. Episode 3 is Cosmodrome. And of course, is the Episode 4, Nessus Regional Chest. Europa, again, I've already found all of them prior because I had a quest that needed it. So they're all found minus 3, which you can see on Episode 1. So um, don't forget, February 20th, 2023, Lightfall comes out. So pre-order now, and you can get a exclusive Quicksilver weapon and the ornament. Um, or sorry, yeah, you get the Quicksilver. And then you also get Rahul's Secret Stash. So lots of cool stuff coming in from Bungie. I can't wait. This is going to be ex uh, exciting. A new uh, Darkness uh, subclass, which we've been predicting for a while now. So this one's $100. I will probably get it. Uh, but you do get all four seasons during it uh plus you get everything you see here so i'm not sponsored by them but <laughs> bungee <laughs> you want a casual gamer look at me hit me up hit my community up back bungee anyways thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you have a great time i hope you have a wonderful week until next time everyone take care stay 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 healthy and i hope you see hope to see you soon and don't forget we live stream on saturday and sunday and wednesdays around 12 or noon central standard time to about three central standard time so come check us out i will see you then until then take care and have a wonderful week till next time everyone